on today's installment of Storage Unit Stories, let's talk about Bear and EJ. You know I love to talk about them. Them is my babies. But somebody asked me how Bear got his name. Let me tell you, he is named after me. Now I know you not going to believe that because people call me Day or I go by Mr. Hey Now. But if you read any one of my books, it'll tell you that I go by a host of nicknames and aliases. Because I do. It actually tells me where I know you from by the name that you call me. Or what part or span of my life that I know you from by what name you call me. And as a youth, my nickname was Teddy Bear. You do not have to tell me. I grew up with it. I grew up, I know, I know, I know that's crazy. You do not have to tell me I've been slim my whole life, but my nickname was Teddy Bear. You don't believe me, do you? Okay, cool. Let me, let me play it out for you. I was like 10 and I went to Carlton Oaks. It is a school in the Pattonville district because for some odd reason, my intelligence, I got accepted to the desegregation program that moved me from the city schools to the county schools. At that time, I really didn't have a nickname. But out there, there was a young lady, little girl, I had the biggest crush on. We cuddled all the time. Do not judge me. I do not care. Right? We cuddled all the time. And she used to call me her teddy bear. And it stuck. And then... 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm making a name for myself in the streets. So the street dudes call me Teddy Bird, right? Yeah, like, I know that sound crazy. And if you a man's man, you ain't gonna call no man Teddy Bird. But back then you would have, or you could have suffered the consequences for playing with me. It was just kind of like that. Even the gangsters called me Teddy Bird, right? Not just the regular, normal, everyday people, but I'm talking about the street gangsters. We ain't gonna bring up nobody's name or none of that, but I was born in the 70s, so the 80s and 90s in St. Louis, you know who the gangsters was. The gangsters called me Teddy Bird. Moving a little bit forward with 17, 18, Teddy Bird got shortened to Jess Burr because people got tired of, I guess, the long name, right? But nobody never disrespected it, right? So... It got shortened to bear, and then I went through life with it, and then I went to prison as bear, right? They called me bear, and I did all them years in prison as bear. So anybody that know me from that era of my life, they gonna call me bear, because I went through, you know what I'm saying, streets, jail, you know, I came back home, but before I came home, I changed my name today, because I didn't want to be known by bear no more, he's nuts. I suffer from multiple personalities too. They all got names and if you watch video after video, it'll tell you, you know what I'm saying? I even got a verse last year, Bartoba, where I told you and broke down each one of my personalities and what they do for me. But needless to say, I came home and my name was Dave and I got to moving through life and then I moved to Colorado and I was jamming with Bear Mama and she got bear for me if you know the story you know the story i'm not telling it but she got bear for me and before he had a name we were trying to decide what we was gonna call him and then one day she said i'm gonna name him after you so that's how he got his name he is literally named after me and i kind of got the tattoos to prove it if we you know what i'm saying if we really want to go in depth i actually had a, the word bear tattooed on me a couple times because that's actually my name yeah, don't tell nobody. Do not tell nobody. Just keep it to yourself. You know this little bit of information. And hopefully we can just keep it between us. And do not start calling me Teddy Bear. Because unless you know me from playing in the streets, I'm probably not going to answer to it. I'm sorry. Just call me Dave. Right? Call me Demond Smith. Call me Mr. Hey Now. But don't call me Bear. Because for some odd reason, unless you know me from that era of my life, then it don't it don't register to me because I don't even want you to know him 
because he is nothing like the person that you are getting to know. He is the alter ego that you do not want to run into in a dark alley. You want some coffee? Now, Anna Jean, you already know who Anna Jean named after. She named after my mom. Yeah, she named after my mom. And you know, if you know, I told my mama while she was still alive that I was going to do everything in my power to make sure that her name lived forever as a birthday gift. And that birthday gift continues to give every day. Mm -hmm. I got the video footage to prove it. Right? Don't, don't get to playing with me like I don't have the video footage to prove it because I pull it out right here. So back to what I was saying. What could I give my mother that I ain't never gave her before? What can a son give his mother that he ain't never gave her before? And my thought was, I'm going to try to make my mama live forever. <laughs> you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, put Edna Jean in Google and you see what pop up and you tell me if I ain't doing everything in my power to keep my word. I loved her, right? I'm talking about, I loved her to death, literally, all the way up until it was over. From my first breath to her last breath, I was in love with that lady, and I'm going to do everything in my power to make that make sense. So that's it. Bear named after me. It's my mini me, my alter ego, right? And the genius is named after my mom. Robert Lee is named after my daddy. If you know who Robert Lee is, then you already know. I am keeping my family name alive any way that I can. And that's just what it is. And it's kind of going to be what it's going to be because I'm going to keep my family name alive and I ain't going to stop. And you can't make me. Bring in the logo.